What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. In this video, I wanted to talk about the statistics of um, like true positive sensitivity, specificity, because I had a hard time understanding this and I put, I'm putting together this video, hopefully to um, shed some light and make it more clear. So, for any diagnostic evaluation, you have this box here um, where your disease positive is on top, your disease negative, and then your test positive and test negative are in the uh, y-axis. Um, so two rules, true is always on top, true prevails, and then the second rule is to add true and the false on the bottom. So for sensitivity, sensitivity means, um, so for disease positive, if you have a disease and your test is positive, and your disease is positive as well, that's a true positive. If your disease is negative, but the test came back positive, that's a false positive. If your disease is uh, positive, but the test came back negative, that's a false negative. And then you have your true negative. For sensitivity, all you have to do is circle the first column, uh, the true positive, the false negative. And like, just like number the, the number one rule is to put true always on top. So sensitivity, the equation is true positive plus true positive plus false negative. For specificity, you do another circle in the right hand column. You take the false positive. I'm sorry, you take the true negative, true is always on top, and true negative plus false positive. For a positive predictive value, you take the true positive and true positive plus false positive. And then for negative predictive value, true negative, true negative plus false negative. And that really helped me understand it and I hope it um, just clarifies a lot for you all. Before you take your test, just draw this box and then draw the equations and hopefully that will be able to assist you in getting the right answer. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.